This is the Kia EV9. Kia's EV that shares the same size as the Telluride and the same platform as the Hyundai Ioniq 7 that's to be released soon. Starting at $60,000, this is probably the most attractively priced EV SUV on the market. What does it offer for that money? While it may start at $60,000, the one behind me is $80,000. Being the GT line, it is their current top trim. That will be overshadowed by the GT, which is soon to be released and will have more power, more range, et cetera, et cetera, and a bigger price tag. As of right now, this is a 375 horsepower, dual motor, all wheel drive setup, and it has 304 miles of range. When you look at the outside, this is their ocean blue color, which is my personal favorite of the selection. You've got really nice LED daytime running lights and obviously your LED headlights there as well. And then these lights here, which add a little pattern to it, which make it look very electric vehicle, very futuristic. Obviously being electric, there is no need for a grill. So body panel color, body colored panel right in the front there as well. Got your parking sensors, 360 degree cameras all in the front. And if you come around these awards that this car has won, you see it's aerodynamic range helping rims, which honestly look nice. I think a little bit better than the ones that Tesla used to offer on the Model 3, which was supposed to help range. This still actually adds an element of design to it, which looks very rugged and sort of off-road like kind of helps to have this thick black piece here too, makes it look like it's meant to go off of the road as well as on it. These door handles are eligible for smart key entry or smartphone key entry, which would basically be like Apple keys, for example. And they come out of the body and then go into the body when you're in the car. That's supposed to help with range as well. Back here, you've got a power lift gate, which opens kind of quickly, in my opinion. You've got three rows here as well. The middle row is caption chairs, but we'll get to that. These do go up and down with power. And then down here, you've got some extra storage as well. In here, this interior is very, very spacious. I mean, it feels like a minivan almost. You've got cup holders here that do the rotating thing that a lot of other Kias are doing. Wireless charger down here, along with your buttons for your 360 degree cameras, downhill descent assist, parking sensors. A pocket here, which isn't very deep. I thought it was deep the first time I looked at it, but it was just an optical illusion. Once you come up here, you do have your new infotainment for Kia and Hyundai, like we've talked about in all the other videos. That is wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay. Down here, ambient lighting along with this material here, which feels pretty nice. And that vent being angled that way towards the passenger is also very nice to see. Meridian sound system, on the doors and obviously throughout the vehicle sounds amazing. And heated and ventilated seats, which do have these supports here for your legs. I've got mine extended all the way out, but they do retract as well. Buttons on the side here, which you can't really see, but they are for the adjustable nature of the seats and mesh here on the headrest, which is pretty comfortable as well. In the driver's side, you have a heated steering wheel, heated ventilated seats, and a massaging seat as well. Over here, you've got your buttons for your drive modes, your four-wheel drive lock, and then back here, your new gear selector that Hyundai and Kia are doing at the moment, along with, like I said, your digital gauge cluster, heads-up display, and everything like that. You do also have a camera here for the mirror, just in case you have a lot of passengers, a lot of payload, you're hauling stuff, and you can't see behind the window, you can switch to the camera. Sunroof up here, along with the one in the back. This has been an Autolab first look of the brand new Kia EV9. And honestly, being the best priced EV SUV out there, it's got everything you could imagine. With that being said, we're at the 2024 New York International Auto Show, filming cars all day long. So make sure to subscribe to see the rest of the videos.